Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday we discussed about how we can uh, set up Bootstrap, how we can work with few CSS classroom uh, classes and all. Have you practiced? Yeah. You used those CDN links. Those CDN links working for everyone, right? Tomorrow after the session, if any doubts are there, I will take doubts, right? After the session tomorrow. Huh? So last session, I given you an overview of how to work with uh, some important classes. So what are the topics we discussed uh, yesterday? So we learned about how to set up links uh, let me give you the summary yesterday. So add, we learned adding CDN links. Huh? CDN links for uh, one is bootstrap icons. Another one is bootstrap.css. Another one bootstrap.bundle.js. These are uh, the CDN links you need to keep. For icons, uh, we need icon related classes. So icon classes, icon classes will be like BI and uh, BI some name like house, all this. You need to be careful in understanding the class names and all. You have to check the class names correctly. You can visit the website from there. You can get the class names and apply. Okay. Next, uh, we learned about various bootstrap classes. In bootstrap classes, what are the options we learned? So we discussed about margins. We learned about padding. So we learned about border. So we have rounded. Rounded is radius, right? And we learned width how to configure width and height. So we discussed about uh, text color. So we discussed about background color. How to apply colors also I showed you, right? So these are the classes we need to use for box model. Box model and colors we discussed. These are the topics we learned. Have you practiced all this, right? Yeah, good. Now, once you are good with all these, now we can see more bootstrap related effects, how to handle them, right? How to use the classes, where they are used. We will see some examples now, right? So in the examples now, in the, after understanding the box model, so we will discuss about another one that is uh, how we can use display classes. Display classes. Actually in CSS, you learn CSS have display. You learn CSS display attribute. Can you tell what options display attribute have? display attributes means showing elements hiding elements we can manage huh? uh, display related so many attributes are there those are now available as classes we can simply use d d none it is for display none D none is for display none. Display classes are defined by using D. Display none. Another one, we have D block. This is for display block. We have like a D inline. This is for display inline. Display inline. And uh, we have like D flex. This is for display flex. 
these are the classes for display. Actually, we have grid also, but uh, we don't have grid in uh, Bootstrap directly like with the display. There is another technique I will tell you. So for display, what are the important classes we have? D none, D block, D inline, and D flex. How to use them? I will show you a simple point. Display none is going to remove the elements. Block is going to display the elements inline and flex. Actually, here, see, I will uh, take one example. Let's create a design here, display. Here I am adding a simple nav. There is a navigation. So in this navigation, I have some divs. <clears throat> in this, we have home. Another div in this, some about. Another div in this, some contact like this we have. Now let's run this. Actually, this is the nav we are having. <clears throat> You can see this is one below another are there. Now we want to keep these side by side. If you want to keep these side by side, there are two techniques. One technique is for this view, you can apply a class called display inline. You can use inline. Display inline. That means it will keep the content there. Second one also, every element should be display in line. Then what happens is it will keep side by side. That means in line allows to keep side by side. Generally, you might have learned in CSS, in line is used for element. But Flex is used for container. Flex is used for container. That means for individual item, you can use inline. But all these items side by side you want to display adjustable according to width, then instead of giving inline, let me copy this first. This is one technique you can apply. This is which one? Inline. Inline is applied. Inline is applied for elements. Elements in container. Inline is applied for elements in container. We apply like this. Understood? And uh, usually flex is applied. Flex is applied to container. Inline is applied to elements in container. Flex is applied to container. That means which container is having these elements to that container we apply. That means now how do we apply? Let's see here. Remove this inline class for all of them. Usually div means they keep one below another. You can see all these are one below another. Now you can try a simple for this container. We can put a class D flex. Here, if you give D inline, it will not have any effect. Because this indicates it will keep in line with another element. But there is no another element. You can see this is not correct. It is showing side by side. but spaces need to be adjusted correctly then what is the best option here we have to keep what display what flex what is the speciality now once you keep display flex here actually flex have container that means we apply like this what is difference between inline and flex inline is for element flex is for 
container now what is advantage when you give flex actually when you give flex flex can have can have alignment alignment how you can give flex alignment alignment and direction i will show you both options how to give flex alignment and flex directions alignment and direction is nothing but generally when you give flex what options you can give we can add classes like justify content between justify content justify content center we have justify justify content baseline like this you can add some options justify content between justify content center justify content baseline we have align items align items center align items center so this is aligning the items center we also have like align items align items baseline we can use baseline also align items i will show example with that another option we have flex wrap that is flex wrap another we have flex direction flex direction is nothing but we have flex row and we have like flex column flex row flex column flex wrap these are all the classes just i will give simple example you will understand right that means no need because if you are learning detailly these all classes one by one you can learn in this workshop i will give you some scenarios that will easy to understand every point we need we can't discuss here i will just give one scenario you will understand see here what we have to do now is justify content between justify content center and all is nothing but you given display flex here after that they are side by side now what we will do is we will just add here justify content justify content justify content between if i give justify content between you can see these three items will be adjusted according to the width one left one center one right they are going to adjust one left center and right so that means you can keep the contents correctly justified from left to right so to justify the content between that means space between you can add like this this is done by using a simple display flex and justify content between justify content between it is going to adjust like this you add one more item here suppose you are adding some electronics then it will fit them according you are adding one more item here so uh, i will keep another div here suppose some footwear and uh, you can see it is going to display like this it will justify the content with space between that is a simple concept of keeping the content justified for that what we have to do we have to use justify content between and display flex if i give display inline inline in inline is not good for this you can see it's not working now inline is suitable for home inline is suitable for items and uh, flex is suitable for home flex is suitable for container you have to give flex for container inline for these items for individual items you have to give inline for all items together you have to give flex flex so this is one simple example of keeping your content in flex this is example now i will give you some scenarios means all are not required some scenarios i will give you can easily understand scenario is nothing but suppose now one common requirement is i will give a point how to keep any content any content exactly 
exactly center on page. How to keep any content exactly center on page? You want to keep any content exactly center on page. That is a general requirement in websites. How to keep the content exactly center on page? Let's see how we can keep content. For that answer is, we have to use deflex. We have to use justify content, justify content center. We have to use align items center. We have to use align item center. This will keep the content center. Justify content center, align items center. What is difference is this will keep the content horizontally center. Align item center will keep the content vertically center. That means you can keep the content exactly center on page by using what? Display flex. Display flex, justify content center and align item center. These are options you can do. Let's see now. I will uh, keep here a simple, I will keep a container. So we are keeping a div. In this div, let's create a form. I am creating a form. Now in this form, in this form, we will uh, just add simply a data list, data term. This is username and uh, data definition. This is text box. Input type is text and another data term. So this is some password. Data definition input type is equal to password. Now what we will do here is this button also we will keep some button as some login. This is some uh, heading user login. Now I want to keep this form. I want to keep this form exactly center on page. I want to keep the form exactly center on page, form or heading or content, anything. Then what you have to do is, where is that form? The form is in this div now. For this div, we have to just apply a class dflex. dflex, after that, justify content, justify content what? Center and uh, Align items, align items, what center? Align items center. Now you can see it is going to display center. But why it is not vertically center? Because for this container height is not there. The form is according to the height center. For this, you put height now. I am giving height. That means you can write style. What is it? height suppose 400 pixel height for that container and you can see it will keep everything center depending on height how much height i given some 500 now you can see it will be center to keep vertically center there must be height if there is no height vertical center will not come so now you know yesterday i showed you for this form i will put a class border as what border primary border primary and you can see padding padding two and border some three you can see it will display like this so that means anything if you want to keep center screen anything you want to keep center screen then you have to just apply these classes what are the three classes you need display flex justify content center and align items center. This is keeping the content exactly center on screen. So now let's run this and see here, means I will copy this example for you. Let me copy that example here. This is center on screen, right? Now you can try for any content, let's do. Suppose I will delete this here. Now, I kept here, see, I am keeping a heading. In the heading, I am saying some Netflix. And uh, I kept a paragraph. So watch movies, TV shows, TV shows online. 
So here I am just defining some sentence. Now I want to keep this. Yeah, I want to keep this exactly center on screen. I want to keep this exactly center on screen. Now, what is the basic rule to keep exactly center on screen? First rule, you remember, to keep any content exactly center on screen, what is the first rule is, make sure that all that content is in one container. So make sure that all the content that you want to keep center is in one container that is compulsory. Currently, both are not in one container. Both are separate, heading separate, paragraph separate. Make sure that all are in one container. So that means what you do, you keep in one div. Okay, after that, now this container, you need to keep center. You need to keep that container center. Where that container is present in body, na, then what you do for body, you can add D flex. After that, justify content center. After that, what? Align items. Align items what? Center. Align items center. And you can see now, it will display like this. Vertical center. Term means height must be there. So for body, we will put style height. Height is 400 pixel. Then body height is increased, then it will be center. What about center alignment? Center alignment to keep center alignment. So you can just give, I hope you know, uh, body also have align center. Na? Then it will keep the content center aligned. But here we have to apply the class. Where is the class to apply is? This container can use class. What is this text center? Text center, it will keep center. So any content, if you want to keep center on page, then you have to use these three options. Display flex, justify content center, and align items center. Align item center. Understood? So what is the basic rule? Keep all the content in one container. Otherwise, it will not work. That means, suppose you are not keeping this in one container. They will not allow to keep in center. Make sure that all are kept here in one container. That is the basic rule you need to follow. Right? So to keep anything center on screen, this is what you need to do. I will copy this also. This is for keeping the contents on center. Okay, now let's create one more design and see. Means you can see how to create a design. I will show you. I will clean up this container fluid only I'm giving here. And uh, now what we will do is, yeah, now that is done. Okay. Now here we have, so remove this one also, right? This content is remote, fine. Now see, what we want to do is, let's go here, see one sample template. Suppose we have getbootstrap.com and you see there is themes category. We will go to themes category. You see lot of website themes will be there. So many website themes are available. Sample themes will be there. These are all website themes. You can select any theme to design. You can select any theme. I will select this theme. You can see in this theme preview. Suppose this is this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. Now, actually, suppose with our knowledge of what we learned up to now, we can just design this part. A header we will try. See the header. Heading is left side. Menus are center icons are right. That means now 
in this how many containers are there how many containers are here this is one container this is second container and this is third we have three containers now and all these three containers are present in a parent container am i right they are present in a parent container so let's do design this here just simple what we will do is here we will create one container this is header in header we need three containers div in this we will give shopper and div another one in this we will keep this span span one span is home another span is catalog another span is shop another span is blog another span we have like pages like this we have after that another container div in this container we have span class bi bi search you see they have a search symbol huh? search symbol okay next so we have another span class bi bi is person there is person symbol another span they have some heart symbol class bi and bi heart and like this we have another span class bi bi what cart cart these are the symbols now let's run this and see it actually looks like this that means these are the three containers we are having these are three containers we are having now i need to keep them side by side so what you have to do now so for header for header what we have to use class what is it d flex d flex will keep side by side i need to adjust the space between what we have to do justify content justify content between justify content between that means we need to add space between now you can see it is like this we have one left one center another one right we want some spaces between these then uh, what you can do is for every span we can put a class margin end 2 or 3 we learnt right i am using margin end 3 for all these spans then you can see it will get margin space the same margin i want to keep for this here that means here also i will give same margin oh already class is there we will use m3 margin end 3 i am adding spaces for these icons also and you can see it is going to display this like this and for header what we are doing yesterday we learnt we use bg suppose dark text white padding 2 then you can see it will display in this way so we are adding the items and we are arranging side by side for this which one we have to use we have to use d flex display flex display flex justify content between and margins these kind of designs are very commonly done by using these display classes i have given so many examples related to that understood so what are the classes we are having d non d block d inline and d flex and when you are keeping flex what are the relative classes justify content between justify content center and justify content baseline that is for horizontal alignment vertical alignment align items center align items basically what is this flex wrap in another example i will show you in later example we will see that what is flex wrap row and column how to use them so initially you need to know these options 
what is d none d none means it will not display that means if anything you want you don't want to display suppose i don't want to display this area temporarily i don't want to display that area this home catalog area then what we do for this we can apply class d what none display none it is not going to show that right if you don't want to display any particular element just you need to keep it as d none d none is used for hiding that and displaying so this is one concept of working with the display i hope everyone understood right most actually these are lot of examples are required but i given just one two examples these are enough to understand okay so just you need to know how to work with display flex display inline how to keep the content exactly center how to keep the contents equally organized from left to right these are very common requirements while working with display okay next important is after understanding display another important is positions another important classes you have positions position classes also very popular i hope you learned positions relative position absolute position fixed position sticky in css you learned them right actually in css positions actually we have these are the classes position position relative we have position fixed we have position absolute absolute we have position position static and we have position sticky position sticky it is not possible to show all examples i will give one two okay because see if i start giving every point example it is a lengthy concept right it's very lengthy generally in front end ui development you people learn all these things in a workshop if i explain one two others you need to try okay now i will show you where these are used how these are used one simple example i will show you for example see here uh here i am designing a simple create here like this yep i will show you simple techniques of this suppose here we are having a button i will put a heading positions and see here i am having a button and uh, this button in this button i am just giving as so like uh, some span class uh, this span have a class bi bi suppose i given as bell and i say notifications notifications i given now you can see this is a button which have notifications now what i will do is beside notifications i will put a span i will write some four you can see it looks like this this is four i want to highlight that four how to highlight four i will use a class bg bg danger and i will give text white i will give rounded and i will give rounded circle like this i am adding some classes that means now you can see it will come like this it is having just some option there that means actually it is defined like this now this is just a simple value you have four now that four value is displayed there generally what should happen is just highlight i given padding also we will give that means we will give padding as two or three then some gap will come like this right this is a simple one this is a simple option just i given one padding this is fine now what happens is this this circle this circle i want to remove from there i want to put some corner 
then actually what we do is for this circle wherever this circle is there for this circle we give position position absolute when you give position absolute it is removed from there it is removed from there and you see it is coming out it is removed from that location and it is coming out absolute means it removes from that location in css you will learn positions a very big concept it is position fixed position absolute position relative and all position absolute means it is removed actually the positions are controlled you see positions are controlled by using again we need classes like top we need like bottom so bottom and you need like start and you need like end top bottom and start end these are required for position actually what are the break points you can give is the break points for them you can give as stop 0 top 25 top 50 top 100 75 and 100 like this you can give the break points for them top bottom start and these are the positions you can give see what happens now for this circle i am adding i am adding top as zero top zero and you can see it is top zero there and i am using i am using end 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 zero end zero means right side but what happening here you see that it is completely not relative to button it is outside button actually it is present inside button this pan is present inside button but it is going outside the button right side corner it is going i want it to keep with relative to this button then generally for this button we put a class called position relative what position relative indicates position relative indicates that don't allow any content to go outside this area then see what happens now that will come here that means it will be relative to this relative to this if it is relative then you can you don't need this top and top this you can you don't need to give that it will keep that relative to the content right you can keep relative to the content that means if you don't give relative what will happen it will go outside later if you can adjust the button height you can keep it right side corner i will show that for that separate button classes are there i will explain them now we will discuss about those classes we can implement that so what is the concept of position position is nothing but it will keep your content where you want actually what are the positions i will give you see means simple example i will tell you then i can give this point okay let's see suppose you will see several websites i will show you we will create one unordered list in this or i will create a div in this div again we will create divs this div is having a class bi b i facebook like this i define book and similarly other divs so facebook twitter like this we define twitter and another one like instagram we are adding all these like instagram all these we are defining now you can see so these are the options here I want them to keep right side corner, right side bottom corner. In many websites, you will see that. For example, you see some website like Inox Movies. You see in this Inox Movies website, those are right side corner. Huh? They are right side corner. And very important is they are fixed there. They are not scrolling they are fixed there how to keep them simple what you have to do so for this container what we have to do is we have to keep a class position position fixed 
Fixed means it will keep where it is. It will not allow to move it. Fixed. Where, where it should be fixed? Right side where? Top where? Bottom where? You have to tell. So right side means we have to say end zero. End zero. Bottom means you have to give what? Bottom zero. Right side zero, bottom zero. Then you can see automatically it is fixed right side there. And why it is bottom zero there? Bottom zero is nothing but actually body is not having height. Na. If body is having height, it will be displayed there. So that means what we have to do for body, we will define what? Style, how much height? Height I will give as some 500 pixel. Then based on the body height, it will keep there. Understood? And you can see the page is scrolling, am I right? The page is scrolling, but those icons are fixed in the right corner. They are fixed in the right corner. That means your page is scrolling. You can have a lot of paragraphs of information there. The page is scrolling and you can see actually these are in the right side corner. And in the right side corner, they are fixed there. That means it is not moving. It is not there. Yeah, here you can see. You see it is, it is fixed there. In the right corner, it is fixed. How you applied this by using what? We can give positions. Position is what? Fixed. Fixed. Where to fix? You have to keep right where, top where, bottom where you need to define. Remember, positions is a very big concept. In CSS, you have to learn these concepts. Then you can easily apply in Bootstrap. That is the reason for Bootstrap. Basic requirement is HTML and CSS. Because if you don't know what are positions, then it is difficult to explain in Bootstrap for you. Because in Bootstrap, we don't explain positions. We just tell how they are applied. Positions you have to learn generally in CSS. What is relative, what is fixed, what is absolute, what is sticky like things. These are all general basics of CSS, right? Here we are learning how to apply them, understood? Let's put one more option and see. Means I will show you another style. What positions you have seen? One is fixed, another one absolute, another one relative. You see here, one more option is here. We have, we have a data list. I will keep here some categories. Okay, here we have data list in this data term. In this data term, I said electronics. Under that, we have data definition. In the data definition, I am using mobiles. And uh, I am using here as televisions. Okay. And I am adding another one. This is like watch. You see, under this electronics, I copied a lot of content. Lot of content are copied there. After that, I have another category called another category called footwear. And here data definition like we have boots. So we have like casuals like this. And we have like sneakers like this. And I will copy this. Like this, we are having a lot of items. Lot of items. Now see generally what happens. This is the page. In the page, a lot of categories are there, electronics. When I'm scrolling down, you can see these categories are scrolling up and down. That means for footwear also, what I will do, I will copy some and save. I will change the height for this, okay? Now you can see, now a lot of content is there. I can scroll. This is footwear, this is electronics. Generally, if lot of such categories are present, lot of such categories are present, then see what happens. I will give here, wherever term is there, data term, I will give a BG class. I will give a class as BG. BG dark and the text white. What does it will do? Background color, background color will be like this. I will give some padding also too, okay? I will copy these now. 
I will copy that. Similarly, I will give another term. Where is another term? Another term is a footwear. For this term also, I will give same. You see two terms are present like this. This is electronics and this is footwear. Generally, if so many categories are there, people do one simple concept. What they do is, generally, if there are so many categories, we will put as position, position as sticky. We keep position sticky for those terms. Where to stick top zero. At top zero sticky. All terms must be position sticky at top zero. See what will happen now. When I am scrolling here, you can see it is scrolling and after reaching top zero, it will stick there. Rest of content will scroll. And this topic will stick there and rest of content will scroll. This is a very common thing. This kind of options are done by using position sticky. This is called sticky position. Sticky position means it will move up to, up to certain point. After that, it sticks to top. It is going to stick to top and you can see it is moving rest of contents. This is general sticky, how we can handle sticky and define. So actually where to stick? Stick to what? Top. Top at which location? Zero. These kind of contents are very commonly used. This is one popular thing used for positions. So for positions, right? So these all generally CSS concepts. What Bootstrap is doing? Bootstrap is making them simple just by applying a class. Without Bootstrap, you have to write a lot of code. In Bootstrap, just apply the class. Then it will automatically start working for that, right? So now you have seen two things. One is uh, today you have seen two things. One is display. Another one is what? Positions. Positions, display and positions. Next important, one more popular thing you will see is columns, rows and columns. Rows and columns is also very popular. Rows and columns, actually, it is just like a grid. Generally, in CSS, people use display grid. Here, we have to use rows and columns. Rows and columns. See? For using these rows and columns, simple, you have a class like one is row class, another call class. And columns have breakpoints from 1 to 12. You can give maximum number of columns, how many? 12. So that means you can distribute every row into how many columns, four columns you can distribute. Rows and columns are very common. I will show you one simple example. See, means very simple presentation I will show you. So how do we define rows and columns? Okay, let me cut this. Now you see here, I am adding a simple heading. Like suppose product details. I'm using some product details. And here I created a data list, data term. Here we have name and data definition, some name. And we have data term, suppose price and data definition, some price. And uh, here we have some like, yeah. And we have term, stock and data definition, some available. Like this, we are adding some data. Usually, I want this side by side name in one column, it's details in another column. Side by side, we want to keep. Then it's very simple now. What you can do is here, this data list have a class called row. That means you have to define row. In row, these terms must be in one column. Definitions must be in another column. Then you have to just give class as call. Terms, this column, this column, you have to define out of 12, how many? Left side, left side, I will give 
how many columns i will give three out of 12 we have to share the columns so how many columns we need two columns one column is three then how much this column should be this is right side na that means it should be column how many nine because out of 12 we have to share the columns that means now why 12 because the page width is 1200 pixels so based on that 12 we have to divide now all the terms all the terms will be 3 all the definitions will be 9 all the definitions will be 9 you see now all the definitions 9 it will display like this arranging information in rows and columns we need to divide row all terms in 3 and all definitions in 9 we can change the width actually depending on you can adjust suppose you can give all these how many 2 if i give to all others must be how much 10 because you need to distribute among 12 so that means it is going to display like this so you can adjust the width you can configure the width so this is arranging information in rows and columns that means terms will be in two column i will give a simple point so that you can understand first then you can apply this right let's see i will copy this one so you can easily understand with that concept i will show you see let's create a div i will put a heading columns for your understanding i am giving a plain design so a div in this another div this is column 1 this is another div this is column 2 another div so this is column 3 now you see here like this we have how many columns we need to divide three so what is the container this is the container for this we have to put a class called row now if you want all three columns evenly distributed all three columns evenly distributed so then all three columns you just use call for all the divs you just use the class called call then what happens is all these are evenly distributed like this this is call all i am defining as call and you can see that that will be evenly distributed like this for example now i will also use for your understanding border and i will give border 1 and border primary primary so that you can see border also there right so i will give border also so that you can easily understand i will give columns are having border and you can see these are the borders we have equally shared na equally shared let's change the width suppose this should be occupying two columns then what should be others and this also should be two columns that means left and right two columns that means how much gone four gone then the center column must be how much six how, how much it should be eight why because you have to share between 12 na then you can see it looks like this that is the left column right column and center you have to divide among 12 among 12 then you can arrange the information in rows and columns so if you want another row then what you have to do another div in this div what is the class you need to apply row in this suppose i want two columns we have to use call 6 this is the class am i right call 6 two columns i want this is uh this is i said so call one okay another div the class is what this is also call six and this i will give as call two this is another row in another row there will be like this here also you apply the border here also you apply the border and you can see they will display like this 
i will apply the margin here margin top to then you can see it will be like this this is how we arrange rows and columns earlier actually in css you do that by using grid here instead of using grid you have to use columns by using columns you can arrange like this that is how we can configure the columns understood so we have to use a row in the row you have to use columns and uh, how you have to distribute rows and columns rows and columns are distributed among 12 in one row how many columns can be 12 columns if you don't define the size it will evenly distribute if you define the size according to the size it will be there right this is another example of grid i will just copy this one this is another example of working with the grids actually these are all different types of utilities in bootstrap these are enough as of now as utilities as utilities these are enough these are very popular ones so while working with bootstrap what are the popular utilities you have seen so today you have seen the utilities what are those one is display another one position another one rows and columns rows and columns now you have another options in the utilities small utilities we which are very common you need to know font styles font styles font styles so actually to apply the font styles you have classes called fw fw you can use fw means font weight font weight you can give bold we have fst fst means font style font style we can give as italic you want to apply bold you want to apply italic then you can apply by using fw fw font weight bold so fst that means font style font style we can give actually effects also that means suppose you want to display any content suppose i am giving here so simple some paragraph so welcome to bootstrap like this and uh, here you see i am giving a class margin top three yeah now i want to highlight this bootstrap word so or anything i will put a span and you can put a class this is fw fw is what bold that means it will make it as bold you want it as italic so what we have to give s s t f s t what italic that means you can give bold and italic the font styles are very simple you can give font styles like this so we have font bold and we have font italic font italic Another important, actually, when you are applying, we have font size. You can give FS. FS, you can give 1 to 6. FS is nothing but size. This is bold and this is italic and this is what? Size. You can give font sizes by using FS. That means just you can apply FS fs up to six levels you can give i given five then font size will be little increase maximum you can give only how many levels six six levels of font size you can give right it will adjust accordingly how much font size you want you can define according right that is applying the font sizes fs font style font weight and font size right just a syntax i will give here that is the syntax to apply them huh? because if you want to apply bold italic then you can simply apply through classes right next important in the utilities you have to know another uh, utility is text effects what are the text effects already we know uh, we can give text effects like text align text center we have like what text center we have text start we have like 
text end end means right we have like text justify justify text justify and you already learnt text contextual na contextual is nothing but colors right if you want alignment center left right justified and uh, colors then you can apply by using text right you can use these text effects you can simply apply them for example i want to keep this center what to do just simply apply the class what is the class to apply for that so we have to just use what uh, text what text uh, center center then it will keep that text center right so that is what you can just apply text start text center all these these are simple text related effects so in the utilities lot of utilities are there but these are very commonly used utilities these are enough these are enough i am not going more in depth because it becomes very complex huh? so and we don't have so much time also so this is enough utilities what are the popular display positions font styles and uh, rows and columns another one text effects now we will go into very major concept this is the major one in bootstrap huh? and the major concept in bootstrap we are going to learn about bootstrap components now this is where bootstrap makes very popular and effective for building large interactive interfaces all these all these yesterday and today up to now what you learnt are the simple utilities but components are very rich in functionality also how to use these components i will show you first important in the bootstrap components we have alerts alerts are nothing but actually alerts are embedded these are embedded message boxes embedded message boxes boxes in page these are embedded message boxes in page actually you can you can control you can control with with the jquery attributes you can control with jquery attributes let's see how they work for this you need classes what are the classes you need is alert and you need alert alert dismissible alert dismissible you need alert alert contextual 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 means what colors primary danger all these are colors and uh, we have alert title we have like alert subtitle alert subtitle and you have like alert text you have like alert link so alert link these are the classes these are the classes so these are the classes for alerts that means for alerts these are the classes available how an alert looks like i will show you what are these and how they control actually now we will see a simple option what is this component and how it works let's go to the page here and these are very rich in these are very rich in what functionality yeah see i am keeping here alerts i will keep a div container in this div i will put a heading delete record so here i will put a paragraph the record record so some record will be deleted will be deleted permanently will be deleted something like this we given message and uh, we given an anchor so help like this we design actually this is a ordinary div ordinary div now see how special it happens generally we show these type of messages while working with javascript jquery user clicks a delete button and we display some message box you see how they come for this div you have to just apply the class alert after that you put some color i will say alert danger and you see interestingly automatically it changes like this now 
and you can see that so alert danger so this is alert alert danger and see that alert danger this looks like this automatically it is having some effect just only two classes we have defined that is alert and alert danger for example i am creating i am creating another div another div and i will put a heading say record inserted inserted so here i said record inserted inserted successfully successfully this message i am giving and for this i am giving a class alert and alert alert i given as success and you can see automatically it looks like this and don't think it is done it is having a special ability that is nothing but you see now for this alert actually for titles we put a class called alert title for subtitles we will put a class called alert subtitle subtitle for links we will put a class called alert link we will put alert link that is to keep a uniform appearance actually for titles what is the class we give the class we give for title that is what alert title for uh, this what is the class we give alert subtitle and any link is present alert link here we don't have a link these are the options they look uniform appearance and very special about this is actually see in the header i am giving in the header i am giving button button this button i will put a class btn btn close i am keeping a button close you can see there is a close button here you can see this is btn close btn close a close button looks like this but actually this close button should right come right side na that close button should come right side that means if alert is designed for closable with closable technique then what you have to do is for that alert you need to add one more class alert dismissible if you use alert dismissible now you can see the close button automatically goes right side the close button will automatically go right side that means you can see this is right side if you give dismissible it will go right side and see this button is not working na we can make it work how we can make it work just we have to use these are classes we have attributes we have attributes these attributes are used for controlling the controlling the effects that means visual you can give by using classes and effects controlling you can do by using attributes and attributes are given like this data hyphen bs data hyphen bs data hyphen bs we give dismiss data hyphen bs dismiss this is used to close any component if you want to close any component then you have to give data bs dismiss data bs dismiss that means now go here when to close when user clicks which button close then you see in the close button you have to write an attribute data bs dismiss data bs dismiss is equal to which component to dismiss component name component name is alert component name is alert alert to dismiss now you can see here when i click this close button it should close it will close again you refresh the page it will display you click the close button it is going to close it is going to work practical it's not necessary that you have to put a close button only you can try like this suppose second alert is there na here you put a button button say okay if you say okay you can see there is an okay button here its appearance later we will change 
on this okay click it should close then what you have to do here we have to write data bs what dismiss dismiss what alert then you can see on this button click it will close you can put both buttons you can put close button you can put okay button you can put cancel button anything this is what the bootstrap is very popular for designing like this requires lot of javascript also means how to open it again you need javascript jquery logic to create such things we need lot of javascript jquery now we can simply manage that these are very popular components these are called as what alerts 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 are one important components that you will see while working with javascript jquery if anybody selected delete or insert you can pop up a message and this is not a pop up message this is an embedded message embedded message means it is integrated into page we can create a pop up also i will show you right these are embedded messages these are not only rich in design they are rich in functionality they are rich in functionality so this is one example of what alerts understood huh? is it clear to everyone any anything confusion here no you have to practice then you will understand huh? right that means these are ready made components we are having i hope you can handle these components huh? right right now which component you have learnt alert alert let's see another component understood the alert what are the classes and how to deal right okay next step is another component like alerts you have lot of components now i will show you next another component buttons these are very common the second component is buttons buttons and for buttons lot of classes are there what are the classes for buttons btn 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 contextual contextual we have btn outline outline contextual contextual so we have btn group so we have btn group btn group vertical vertical and uh, we have btn link so we have like btn btn close these are special buttons right these are some important classes all i am not giving these are enough for understanding button these are button related classes now wherever you are designing buttons to keep the buttons in a better way to keep the buttons in a better way these are the classes required these are the classes required let's see how to use them means how we can keep these button classes let's check what are these buttons you see here buttons have different here let's see i am using buttons okay and uh, here i am adding i am adding first category i will just give here this is button i will give contextual how to give the buttons you see there is a button and we have button called suppose insert and uh, actually button looks like this this is how a button looks like to give a good appearance for button simply you apply the class btn and btn danger danger that means you can see it is like this for example outline buttons that means you can see i am adding another btn outline danger outline danger it looks like this that means on mouse over it will display like this this is button this is outline button danger success colors you can apply them we have some special buttons we have some special buttons btn close already i showed you na it will look like a close button it will look like a close button there is another special button so suppose i said some log out and for this you see class as btn btn and btn link btn link then it looks like a link button but it is not a link actually it is just a button only 
it's a button it looks like a link so this is ordinary button this is outline contextual this is close button and this is link link button actually button have groups also that means button groups also there for example we want to design button here like this is like a previous so this is like previous and another button like next right so we are giving the buttons like previous and next we need to make them look like combined if you want to make them look like combined generally what you can do is div you have to keep them both in a div then you give the classes here btn and btn this is primary and uh, here we have class what is that btn and btn danger something like this two are there those two classes are like this we need to make them look like combined then just what we do is we will apply a class called btn group btn group it looks like this combined they look like these two are attached to each other for that first what you have to do you need to keep those two in one container you have a vertical group also that means you can give button group you have button group button group vertical vertical for example you keep a div inside this you have a button this button is home another button some about so another button like another button like contact like this and these buttons will have a class btn btn danger and you see margin bottom i am giving two same class i will apply for all of them this is button button danger and you can see all these buttons look like this now see what i am doing for these buttons just we have to apply a class called btn group vertical if i apply btn group vertical for them then automatically they will look like this that is vertical when you are designing a navigation bar like that then you can use these kind of buttons this is vertical buttons this is horizontal group this is vertical group and these are ordinary buttons you have a insert button ordinary outline close and link these are related to buttons understood these are simple classes for buttons this is a simple example for buttons so what are the classes here now one is alerts another one is buttons now very popular another important here we have cards these are all components actually bootstrap components cards we can keep it more special for cards we have classes like card we have card header we have card body so card footer card footer we have like card title we have like card subtitle we have card subtitle and we have like card image top and we have like uh, card image overlay card image overlay these are like cards cards are very popular in websites in almost every websites you will see cards and how do we design the cards let's see one example these are card related classes see the cards how they look like actually suppose i will show you some naresh it website in this naresh it website you can see in this website you can observe here the courses these these are cards actually these are cards these are all cards so let's see how to design them means how you create such cards how to keep these cards it's very simple first you need these pictures na we need those pictures like i will copy those pictures you you can simply right click and save images right and save those pictures in your project folder i will i will save this uh i will save in our project folder our project folder is d bootstrap workshop 
in that public in public folder i will save them means in the same folder where we have that uh, html index same we are saving this is ui okay and uh, this is another image save image i am giving this image as rpa this is rpa and uh, we have another image as angular ng rpa ui ng like this we are having this option okay let's like that you save any number right now let's see how to design these cards how to create the cards we will see very simple actually to create such cards first you you keep a div and in this div for this this div is nothing but suppose let's make it as a main area okay main now in this what we are doing we need card for every course we need a card every card is a div for this div we have to put a class called card we have to put the class card for the div okay now actually first design them so that you can understand okay so first uh, we will keep here an image image source is equal to image source it is which one ui dot jpg that is one image now this div is a class what is it card if you don't apply you will see random sizes if you don't apply let's see without applying div image under that image you keep another div here i will put a so a simple heading suppose i will give as ui technologies ui technologies like this i am giving and uh, another div another div i am giving actually in this div what we are doing is we are defining this div contains uh, they have given like uh, stars and all ratings and all they have given we can give some course contents and all that means what are the course contents in that we can just display if you want same exactly like them you can give a span class bi 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 star fill star fill it will give a star actually yeah i copy this star 2 3 4 5 like this we define now actually how this looks like in the output it looks like this that means we are defining this ui technologies and stars right that is a simple option there now to make a good appearance for that what we will do is for this we will put a class class is what card in that card this image will have a class called card image top card image top and this is considered as card header we call it as card header this is considered as what card body card body that means card have a header card have a body if you want you can add a card footer div i will put a class card footer in the card footer i will put a button as join course and for this button we i will apply class btn and btn suppose primary and w100 w100 is width 100 now you can see the card looks like this it's a very lengthy one right originally the card looks like this huh? now what i am doing here is for this card every card we will put a style width width is how much 200 pixels then you can see all these will be like this that is the card width suppose i will give this as 250 pixel then it will be in this way depending on how much width and height you want i will remove this heading i will keep this as a paragraph i will keep this as a paragraph then it will display in this way we want text alignment already we learned class class font weight as bold am i right we will keep text what center it will keep like this here also body here we will give text what center and text what warning 
warning and you can see warning and you can see now it will display like this and in this actually card header i can keep text center and i can say ui technologies another online training online training like this i defined it will display like this now this is only one card like this now you can design all cards i will copy this div i will copy this div and i will paste here another div this is another card what is the image we copied so ng ng.jpg this i given as angular js and you can see the two cards are here now i want to keep these two cards side by side like this you can add any number of cards paste another one what is another one we have another jpg what is that rpa rpa so rpa training so i given as rpa and you can see it will look like this these are all the three now i want to keep all side by side very important see every card is having padding to every card is having margin to for every card i am giving padding and margin to for every card padding to and for every card margin also to we are giving card padding and margin to after that you simply you see there will be some gap between these cards you want to arrange side by side just now previously you learned display flex na you just give an option class main d what d what flex justify content justify content what it is between justify content between then it will keep all of them side by side that means space between if you don't give justify content between they will be just like this they will be just like this it will display like this flex and it will keep side by side like this these are cards to design such type of cards we have a simple process that means what are the classes we need to use card card header card body card footer for headings you can apply card title and all for images you can apply card image top card image top that means it looks like this these are very popular things you will see in websites that means every website usually have these kind of things you see amazon or you see any other products information everything is displayed in a card style right and remember you can keep image anywhere you want in body in header in footer anywhere you can keep that so these are another example this is related to what cards means how you can design the cards and how you can handle the cards i hope it is clear right you can try this example right cards are used for this kind of design okay now once you know these cards now some more components like you see amazon in the amazon you have components like carousel you can design this sliding banner we can create like this sliding banner we can create like accordions we can create like sliding banners these are little more complex components more complex components shall we discuss this tomorrow right in tomorrow session we will discuss but you because you need all these practice remember i am not going detailly about every part i am just giving some important concepts to you because in a workshop every topic cannot be detailed because general bootstrap classes means detailly every class we can learn here i am just giving overview of the classes these are enough you can practice okay na then in tomorrow session we will learn how to design this carousel these kind of sliding banners how to create accordions you saw in netflix accordions carousels little more complex components how to handle them then you can design good interfaces by using that that we'll see in tomorrow session
okay today i will upload a document in the document all these components will be there you can practice okay tomorrow i'll continue right